Roadrunners. Today is Monday, April 19th, 2021. Would you please stand, face the flag on your screen, and say the pledge with me? And then afterwards, pause for a moment of silence so you can think about this magnificent Monday. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, boys and girls. Well, I hope you had a really great weekend. And boys and girls, we are back kicking off another wonderful week. I want to remind everyone that today kicks off our milestones assessments for those boys and girls that are in grades three, four, and five. Now, for our third and fourth graders, this is your very first time ever taking this test. And we know that it's not going to be something that you've seen before. So I'm glad you had a chance to practice. Remember, it's really important for you to listen to the teachers and to make sure that you're following all the rules. This, your job for this particular test is just to show us what you know, and it gives us one more opportunity to see how we can measure up to what you've known, what, what your teachers have taught, and what you know. So just do your very, very best. We're wishing you your best, and we don't want you to get nervous about it. You may see some things that you're familiar with, and you may see a few things that you're not familiar with, but it's okay either way, boys and girls. Again, just do your very best. To our pre-K through second graders, we'd like to ask you to make sure that you are moving through the hallways very, very quietly. This is important because boys and girls are testing all over the building, upstairs and downstairs. So we want to make sure that you're moving through the building very quietly and that no one is disturbing our third, fourth, and fifth graders while they're testing. All teachers, make sure you've read the Roadrunner Review and the, announce and the announcements via email from Ms. Hill concerning documents that show you when people are finished with testing and all the different protocols. And those of you who are administering the test this morning, please make sure you read all the directions. It's really important so that you'll know how to troubleshoot any errors before you contact Ms. Hill or Mr. Reed. Now, boys and girls, don't forget tomorrow night is our virtual art night, and we're so excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Miss Grignoli has been gearing up for a night of fun for you to show you how to draw those cute little gnomes. So make sure that you log in 6.30 because that's what time virtual art night will begin, and it's only going to last for about half an hour. So make sure that you're logging in and that you're logging in on time. And boys and girls, I also want to remind you that we will have some other events coming up as the year begins to come to a close. Hmm, are you curious about what those are? Well, I'll give you a couple of hints. One of them includes an old familiar favorite known as Field Day. That's right. So your PE teachers, Coach Wegman and Coach Writings, are gearing up for Field Day, and they are looking at ways to make it safe and fun so that you all can participate. That includes you two virtual students. You'll have a chance to participate as well if you'd like to come in and participate in field day. So we're really excited about all the events that are coming up for the end of the year and we're looking forward to it. Now, boys and girls, I really don't have a lot of announcements, but I'm just excited about you and all the work that you've been doing, how hard you've been working, and all the fantastic things that you've learned this year. Because even though we've had a really unusual year, you have leveraged technology like no one else. And I'm really proud of you. You've learned a lot about technology and you wouldn't have had the opportunity to do so otherwise. So boys and girls, this is the time for you just to celebrate all the things that you've learned. And we really appreciate you and we appreciate your fantastic teachers because they too have done an amazing job keeping you going all year in person in on the zoom and keeping those lessons going so thank you so much teachers now i can't wait until teacher appreciation i have to say thanks now so just wait until teacher appreciation does come because we want to celebrate you in a big way this year Boys and girls, those are all the announcements I have for today. As always, I'm wishing you a marvelous Monday, and I want you to show your pride. Be patient, especially today for milestones, respectful, independent, determined, and encouraging. And I'll see you around the Zoom room. I'll also see you face to face. Have a great day.